He is a proof of Ries representation theorem. So we have to prove that. Uh, let's get here in the proof. We have to prove that this and this are always the same. So the proof will go as follows. First, we guess what u should be. If there was such a, a u that satisfied this, I, this is what we want to prove. Then we guess what this uh, u should be and then prove that it satisfies indeed this property for every v. And finally, we show that there is no other u with this property. So there's three parts in the proof. The first part, we start, well, we know that every finite dimensional in the product space has an orthonormal basis. So take one, call it E1, pa, 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 EN. And being a basis means this vector U that we are after, whatever it is, we can be written as a linear combination of alpha J's times uh, EJ's. And now, to find what these alpha J's have to be, we will expand what is UJ, EJ inner product U. So uh, our linear function phi, when you compute it at ej, we will not compute it at ej now. now. We are going to expand what it has to be. It will be, well, ej in the product u, because that's what we are looking after. We're supposing u has this property. And then we expand u as this linear combination. And because the inner product is uh, additive and almost homogeneous in the second coordinate, we get this summation appears outside and the alphas appear outside with the complex conjugate. And finally, we see that all these inner products here, they are zero except one of them. Which one? When k equals j. So this entire sum here, it has a plenty of zero terms except for when k equals j, then we get alpha j out of this sum. So we found what alpha j is. We started with this, and we ended up with alpha j bar. So alpha j has to be the complex conjugate of the linear function evaluated at ej. So this will be our guess. This is the formula for the vector u that is our candidate to represent the linear function, the linear function of pi. So now, let's prove that indeed u uh, is the representant of uh, phi. How do we do that? We have to show that this holds for every v. How do we prove that something holds for every v? We have to start by saying, well, let v be a vector in v. And to, in order to prove it, let's write v as a linear combination of the elements of the same orthonormal basis we had before. Then the phi of v if we write V as the linear combination and use the property that phi is a linear functional, then we'll get this weighted sum of beta k's by, so this, this now is a number. It's a number times a number, and then we sum it. Uh, this is what, what we happened, uh, the, what we got when we expanded uh, phi of V just using the fact that phi is linear. Now let's expand what's the inner product of V and U. V, we know, is a linear combination of vectors in the, in the orthonormal basis. And U, we know explicitly what linear combination of terms of the orthonormal basis it is. Inner product is linear in the first slot. So some k, beta k goes out. And it is additive. So some j also goes out. But not exactly homogeneous. It has the complex conjugate. So phi conjugate goes out without the conjugate. So we get this expression here for the inner product of V and U. And now we look what this sum here inside is. Most of the terms in the sum, they are zero, except one of them. Which one? Well, ex exactly when J equals K. And then at, we will get K. So this will be the sum of K. So this, this should be K here. So what we got here is the same as what we had there. So indeed, so this completes the proof of existence, uh, not just to some abstract existence, but exactly what U has to be. So we can even compute U. Now, how do we prove uniqueness? Well, it's not a proof by contradiction. Okay? This is not contradiction because we 
never suppose that this other vector u prime here is different from u. Okay? If we assume that, that would have been a proof by contradiction. So just suppose there is another u prime, which can be the same as u, no problem, with the same property. What property? It represents the function of phi, the property that phi of v equal v u prime for every v in v. And let's uh, show now that u prime has to be the same as u. And then we're going to use an argument that is very typical, very typical in functional analysis, very typical in linear algebra. How do we show that two vectors are the same? We show that their difference is zero. How do we show that their difference is zero? Well, let's see. For every v, we have this, by assumption. We already found some u with this property. We're assuming uh, there's another u with the same property. For every v, we have this identity, which means the difference here equals zero. And what have we just found? We have just found that this vector, the difference here, we're trying to show that the difference u minus u prime is zero. Well, it has to be the zero vector. Why? Because it's orthogonal to every other vector in this space. Since it's orthogonal to every other vector in this space, we know there's only one vector that is orthogonal to every other vector, that's the zero vector. And this completes the proof little square here.